Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is from lesson 7-1. I want to go through the practice problems with you. Um, number one, Eva wants to conduct a survey of the opinions of students at her middle school. Which survey sample would give her the most accurate results? A, random students as they enter the school. B, students during math class. C, random seventh grade students during lunch. Or D, teachers in the seventh grade hallway. Um, so it says the survey of the opinions of students at her middle school. So the best answer for which survey sample would give her the most accurate results would be um, random students as they enter the school. Students during math class would only be students in their math class. We know everybody's entering the school. Um, it might not be that everybody is taking math like at the same time or how would she pick the math classes and then it would be everybody from the same class. Random seventh grade students during lunch, well then that's only the opinions of the seventh grade students. And then D is teachers in the hallway, so that does not make sense. So it'd be A. Um, two. Nia and Zoe collect, will collect data to find out where the seventh grade students should take their field trip, which group should Nia and Zoe survey to collect the best data. The first 25 students through the lunch line, um, 10 random people from each seventh grade class, all the students in a dance class, and 20 of their friends. The best answer here is B, 10 random students from each seventh grade class. We're talking about the seventh grade students. Um, and we want to make sure we're getting an accurate representation of all seventh grade students. Um, if you're just looking at students in dance class, maybe they all pick to go on a field trip to a dance place. Um, 20 of Nia and Zoe's friends are obviously biased to oh. Nia and Zoe's likes and the likes of their friends. Um, and then going through the lunch line, we know, especially at Harris Road, not everybody goes through the lunch line. So that was a good one. Then you are supposed to go over to Google Classroom um, and check under assignments and fill out the form. Only 10 people filled out this form, so I'm just going off of that. Um, only two people had correct answers that actually went with this. The first question said, um, let me pull this over here so I can show it to you. Okay. So the first question said, how would you choose, ooh, stop it. Okay, go away. I don't know why it's doing that. It like won't let me, okay, there we go. How would you choose your sample of 500 people in order to make sure that your results are valid and unbiased? Um, so remember it says, congratulations, you've been hired as the head designer for Teenage Apparel for Nike. You have an idea for an amazing new logo and you think will make teens even more likely to buy your brand's apparel. Before you make the official design to put your logo on every item that you sell, you decide to survey 500 people to see if they like your logo better than the original. Um, so again, how would you choose your sample of 500 people in order to make sure that your results are valid and unbiased? You're supposed to tell me like exactly how you're going to do it. So are you going to choose the fifth person to walk into the store every time? Are you going to send out a survey? Are you going to like, how are you going to collect your data? So maybe I wasn't clear enough on that. Um, the second answer, you decide that you really want to put your new logo on all teen Nike apparel and don't really care what the results say, so you decide to make a bogus survey so that the results cannot be used. What would a sample look like if you wanted to get biased data that would not be considered valid, i.e. that your sample is not random? The best answer there is to have people that liked the logo only be the ones that answer the survey because then everybody would say that they like the logo. So um, I had a lot of really crazy answers <laughs> that a lot of people just put, they would randomly choose. Well, how would you randomly choose? Or how would you be unbiased? So I was hoping for a little bit more on that. Um, and then I was also hoping for more students to actually do it. So Hopefully, I'll have some people that complete it late. Um, I am going to make this one a grade, so the 10 of you that did it, thank you so much for doing it. I appreciate it. Okay, hope you guys are having a great day. Happy Friday.